I'm going to teach you how to use the STN import tool to add new products to your Specialty Toys Network website. We start on the control panel in the administrative back end of your website and we're going to use the STN import tool icon. We click that and it takes us into the STN import tool and the first thing that we see is the filters and then we see that there are lots and lots of dolls here. It starts at the top. These are Adora dolls. They start with A. So what we're seeing is just the, the very first things in the database of 41,132 toys. And we want to add some ugly dolls to our online inventory today. And we can do that with products by, which shows the manufacturer list. So I can come down here to the bottom near here, say ugly dolls. And what pops up here is an overview of the company. And this is something you can use if you wanted to, to have information about ugly dolls on your site. And it's also information for you as a retailer. If you see things in the database that you're interested in, there's contact information so that you can um, form a relationship with those vendors. So I'll hit search. And it brings me all the ugly dolls. The other way we could get to Ugly Dolls would be to go by category and to choose them by dolls and then hit search. I'm looking at the product information for the Ugly Dolls. First one is Wage. He's the very first Ugly Doll. And the status column at the end, the check marks show that these are already in my online inventory and the X's mean that they're not. So I'm looking, I can look by picture, I can look by SKU, the SKU is the leftmost, and these are, the, these are our SKUs in our database, and so they have a prefix for the manufacturer, and then they have the manufacturer's item number. Then there's the name, so you can search by name. This is the category they're going in, manufacturer of course, and Ugly Dolls was kind enough to provide us with UPCs, so we can go by UPC if we want to. I want to add all of these new characters to my cart, and so the way to do that is to simply click on the X, that means it's not in my inventory yet, and it just now is importing it. When I click the red X to import the toy into my database, it pops up a pop-up window, which lets me edit that as I bring it in. The pop-up window that pops up allows me to edit all of the attributes for the thing that I just imported. So I'm going to maximize the window, and I'm going to roll down a little bit. This shows the product information product status, dimensions and weight, images, related products that you can set, and safety warnings that it might need. So the first tab is product information, and I'm going to take it from the top. The first one is publish. If you uncheck it, it's not published. We do want it published. We want it checked. This is the SKU it comes in with, the ugly, which is the prefix, and the number, which is the, the ugly doll's item number, the name, the URL, skip that, and the UPC. This is the identification for this product. So we might want to change the SKU that it brings in to whatever SKU um, my POS system is using. Because if I want to update my inventory, I'll want to have the SKU that, the, that my website knows this item by to be the exact same thing that my POS system knows the item by. That way it makes updating your website inventory and prices very easy. I can copy the UPC put it in the SKU. I can do a lot of things. Here the vendor in the next line. The vendor is the name of your toy store. In this instance you are the vendor. It's not the manufacturer. Under that is the manufacturer. It comes in already. This is an ugly doll. Um, ugly dolls is the manufacturer. I can change that if I wanted to but I probably don't. Here's the manufacturer item number. You'll see that this does match the number portion of the SKU. And here there's the category that it's in. It's in puppets and plush. And by holding down the control 
I can put it into action figures, active play, arts and crafts, bathtub toys. I can choose whatever category on my site I want this toy to come into. Multiple ones, I can hold down shift and put it into all of them at the same time, which seems a little silly, but I can do that. I want it to go into puppets and plush, and I want it to go into dolls and doll accessories. Ages here. Sometimes these come pre-filled in with the manufacturer's recommended ages, but you'll want to review them as you bring them in anyway. On the web, um, you'll want your, your shoppers to be able to um, find things really easily and specifically, and manufacturers would like as many different age ranges as possible to buy their toys. So they usually say it's good from 9 to 90, and you might say, well, the best age for this, um, in my opinion, is 5 through 8. The next um, is the fundamentals, and these are the developmental attributes that this toy has. And I think independent play, visual and creative play are the ones I'm going to flag it as. On the next column is product price. This is the manufacturer's recommended price, $19.99. I'm going to call it $20 even because that's what I want. The product gross is the tax added to the price. Product to price net is what you'll want to change if you're changing your price. The ID is the tax ID that's assigned to it, and you'll set your tax IDs elsewhere. Discount type. There are different kinds of discounts that you can apply to this, and we'll go over them in another training session. The discount price. You can override the discount settings and set your special discounted price. Like if I want to bring this in and put them on sale at $15, I'll type that into the discounted price field. Here's the short description. The short description, not all products have them, but you would want to have a short description for your product. This is what Google sees when people are looking for Trey, the ugly doll. You can add to it. It can only be text and it can only be 255 characters long. Add gift wrapping. I could disable the tax here, and I can set a shipping override. If I have a percentage of the sale price that's set um, in my shipping calculator, I can set a different um, shipping value for this toy. So I can say, oh, I'm going to ship him for free as part of the promotion. He's going to be a discounted price. Ship him for free. I'm going to sell lots of these. Down below is the product description. This is the long description. And this can have um, bold text. It can be formatted. Um, you want to hit enter after it to make it into a paragraph. Um, you can add images if you want. This is the same editor you'll use to make your web pages, and we can talk about that um, when we're talking about how you create web pages. The product status is the currently into the, the amount he's currently have in stock. Dimensions and weight. Looks like he came in at 14 inches. Um, there are no good dimensions and weight for this, so if I was using a shipping calculator that needed that, I would have to set them myself here. He's not a downloadable product. He's not an MP3 or a video or something like that, so I wouldn't check that. Product images. These are the images that come in with him. This is the large image. This is the small thumbnail. I like those, those are fine. I can set related products in the related products tab and this looks at all the other toys that are in my cart and I can choose them and add them here. And these are the safety warnings that I can set for this character. He doesn't need them, um, so I'm just going to say save and that saves the changes I've made to him in my cart and I'm going to close the pop-up window. And now I'm back here where I can import some more. And we're going to pause this right now because we need to.